All right, welcome to Six Scale, everybody. All right. Hold on, I gotta turn down my volume. Okay. Uh, welcome to Six Scale. So it's February twenty fourth. Add yourself as an attendee, please. Okay. Um, agenda for today. Um, the only thing I have here is uh, review some PRs. Um, and uh, so I, I don't know if we'll use the whole time, but let's see where it takes us. So first one, this one's been open for a while. Um, uh, Marcel, I know you reviewed this. Um, I don't know where, how people feel about this, like in terms of where we are, and if it's something that we would do want to merge or something we want to wait and just continue to make improvements on as we progress through um and, and build some more slos and further define some of these fields i don't know does anyone have an opinion i think it's a good start so yeah okay well should we merge it then or do what do you want to do with it i mean we either way or we i think yeah i think it should be fine to be merged okay and i don't have a approval permission so you need to ask david or Ron. okay all right i can ask david again to take a look okay that's fine all right okay that's that um so the second item um marcelo i had uh, i've done some work on actually the load generator i want to show you so this is um this is the pr that i put together this was um i put this together kind of a the end of last week, I I kind of wanted to um, just see how this looked, um, and I just ended up writing a bunch of things. But uh, all I did was is I, I kind of refactored the code. Uh, I wanted to um, I wanted to to change a few things, um, kind of recenter the code around a few um, ideas, uh, where instead of um, having like um, some some APIs or abstractions for just uh, uh, like a few different um, types of uh, a few different calls. Like a few, I think I think maybe the way I classified is like we. Had, I think the way it was is we basically had we had a lot of configuration. We had a lot of flexibility. I kind of wanted to focus on, on defining like different workload types. So we like talked about steady state and burst testing, and so I wanted to center the code more towards those two types. So what I, I mainly, the biggest highlight is what I did is I, I created, I defined an API and it basically created an interface for what will be our job types. And um, it's pretty simple. Um, it's, it's just this, like uh, we have a load generator and define it as, you know, these functions and this is all it does. And then we'll, we can fill in all the, the separate nuances for the types of jobs. Um, and we just call them based on you know, whatever user input. That's kind of what I was thinking um, that would maybe make this a little more flexible. Um, and then I added a steady state job to it um, based on these, these interfaces. Um, I don't know, what do you think, Marcelo? I don't know if you had a chance to take a look at this. Yeah, I, so I didn't have too much time to, to look everything, but I saw it in, in high level and it looks interesting, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think um, kind of the where like I'd, where I'd like to go with this is um, is that if we can, I, I like I, I found when I went through this, there's a lot of similarities um, that I that we can actually do between bursts and steady state. Like for example, the create in a in steady state is like the exact same in the create workload, right? It's basically a burst create. Um, so I actually what I want to do is like eventually define some some uh, abstractions here that I think could be reused because I mean, create is fairly, and it'd just be a library for any sort of create. And then um, the part where I think we expand a lot is like over down in like the steady state part. And this is where I saw your configuration. Like you had all this configuration for doing intervals and stuff. And that's where I think I wanna, that's where I wanna expand to do, to add that functionality back um, wherever it is here. Basically, just expand. Um, oh yeah, down here. Like expand this. 
um, these interfaces to to do that kind of interval work because there's so many types when I was going through this there's so many types of steady state tests right like all I did is I do a really quick replacement of a set number of VMs and um, but there's so many different ways we can solve this like you can do a slow build up um, you can do a like a you can have a regulated delete there's so many things you can do but I think they could all be sort of iterations of this steady state job like we just have one job and we kind of define different nuances for it mm -hmm. yeah okay i showed a picture of it like so here's the new config marcelo it's um instead of uh so mainly it's just i've churn count and timeout timeout for steady state always runs to the timeout limits it's just the time of, you know the test will run so and this just means that we're going to have five VMs. I, I can only do five in my, my uh, Kubernetes and Docker for some reason. Um, and then I do a set of turn of two. And then, um, yeah, these VMs. What's not configurable, like I said, was the intervals. Like there's basically a little bit of, there's a sleep now. We basically have a wait in between the churn. And you can see it here. Like I, here's the graph of basically me doing a steady state test. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, when you have a chance, uh, have, a, have a review and see how much you think um, this is. Uh, I think we can. I think we can go a few different places with it. But uh, yeah, let me know what you think. Yeah. Okay. I will. I will do that. But uh, it looks interesting. Thanks. Okay. Um, I don't have anything else. Um, I did review the the periodics again. Um, it still looks good. Uh, about the same as it has been. We now have the thresholds with which are still look good. Updates, patch, still have the right amount of create pods. Everything still looks good. Everything is holding within the threshold pretty well. So that's pretty good. Oh, the threshold. I didn't see that. Oh, nice. Yeah, we now have the thresholds there. Mm -hmm. um, and then I did, um, and then I, I think I, I think I told you this already. The and I also mentioned this at the, um, at the um, the summit, which is that we can run the um, the the job now. We can run the uh, the pre summit job. And I forget if I showed this in our last call, but. All you need to do now is uh, run this on any of your PRs, and it will it'll run our periodic chest against your code. Yeah, I think maybe we should present that in the demo section. You know, to make people aware of all this. You mean like at a at a Qvert call, like a in like the weekly? Yeah, the Qvert. Yeah, I think it has like every three weeks, something like that. I don't remember now, but the, there is the demo, you know, um, committed, you know, uh, meeting, and oh. and people present some well demos about some functionality, something. And oh, okay. That's this might be that. interesting to present and make people aware about that. So. Yeah. Okay. You know. Yes, some of our, you know, our things might be also interesting to present there, you know, just to get more visibility about our work. Times, yeah, well, times, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I think, um, I think I definitely agree with you. Like, I think, um, I, I think one of the things that it's going to be really impactful for everybody is not just this job, but also like, like when we have this tool, like we have our tool that we can hand to people that we you know we talked about like being able to do steady state and the audit tool i think combining those two things was just going to become very powerful um when we kind of reach that point i think this is a good like what we have now is good and this is another stepping stone into into that direction now with the steady state support um i think yeah. this will give us uh yes yeah, so a lot of interesting things um i think because mm -hmm. this like i mean we could like this dashboard is very powerful like as it shows when we combine this plus the audit tool, like with the thresholds, um, yeah, and like a larger, not like a five VM, but like a hundred VM count, it would be super cool.
cool to see. Oh, that reminds me. Did you, you have, um, you're using your, you, did you merge your uh, code that, that actually uses the, um, that uses this, right? Like you, I saw, I thought I saw you have, um, you have, you have the, your jobs, right? That, uh, yeah, the, the other two. Yes. Okay. That I, so I changed in here, the examples so that they fit this format, but I don't know if I need to do any other changes so that it just works. Um, but I so, like, like, for example, what I did was I, um, so you, you were, I saw you were using, uh, the examples in here, like this one. Um, I changed these so that they fit the, the, the schema change. Yeah, I'm using the specific names. So I don't remember now. It was kubvert instead, uh, kubvert then a range, something like that before, isn't it? So I don't know if you can keep the old, uh, the old files or if it's not compatible anymore. It's not, yeah. I, 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 it's not compatible. Would I, would I, so where would I go to change it? Like, I think I've got, I would go to your PR. Like, I, you can still do the same things. It's just what I did is I've broken the test down to smaller chunks. So instead of doing like a one, one, two, three, four, five test, we do a one and then we can after that run a two or after that run a three. So I can script that for you. I just need to know where it is. I, I just don't remember. Yeah. So, one of the jobs is in the it's the project infra. Okay, it's in project infra. Yeah. All right, I'll find it in there and then that will okay. And, and that there can are, change in... there are two jobs. So one is creating 100 VMs, another one is ranging from 200, 300, and 400. Okay. So that's and... where I want to go and change it. Okay. Yeah, exactly. So in each update, so it's just pointing, you know, the file. It's running auto tool. So maybe I don't know if you change also the auto tool command. If you change that, I did. I didn't change that one. I did. Okay. It, was, it was just the load generator. Just oh, oh, sorry, the load generator. So if it, if it has like some uh, in new parameter to run it, or it's just the file. If it's just the file, you don't need to change. You just need to change the file name, isn't it? Yeah, I just it's just the format that changed of the um the the input file the the workload file changed uh -huh. the format changed. So, yeah, I think maybe you just need to. You have a script, right? Like there's a script somewhere you run in Qvert, I think, right? In like is it in tools? Um, yeah, but it, it's or it's hack or something. It's auto. Yeah, auto. Mm, yeah, it's hack. And it's like. Um, um, so like perf scale something like that. yeah perf scale test okay. and here yeah you can see in the top i have oh, this hard okay. code so here we go. i'm i'm changing some of this uh because you can see the perf scale workload uh, environment variable okay the line 29 yeah I change that when I run the jobs. Okay. So that's why I change. I run different jobs. So I have this warm up, the, the, but the, you change also the names. Eh? So yeah, uh, it's fine. So it just needs to update the name of the files. I think okay. then the rest, you know, supposedly should work. And then this uh, one, you so what? What does this go to? Perf scale. This goes right to. Uh, Okay, yeah, right to workload. I use the same. Okay, so then yeah. this this is the variable I'll, I'll also have to change so that you update to. Um, I'll what I can. So I'm assuming you you put you you reference other files that are merged into the repo, or do you like create files locally and reference them? No, it's the on the one the repo. Okay, I don't so create a new file. Yeah. Okay, got it. All right, all right. I'll I'll review the tests and make sure that it's exactly compatible with what you have. Um, mm -hmm. Okay, you, you, it, these jobs are running, so it might be also interesting to see if oh, but you cannot you cannot just run similar tests. You know? If you have like a big machine in Nvidia, it just might be interesting to run both and see if it gets the same result, something like that. Yeah, I, that's actually where I want to go with this. Is I this is this is exactly what I want to do. So I want to take this and um, actually go 
internally and have um, do some testing on our large zones, get it some gather some data and report back. Mm -hmm. So I think, yeah, so you said you've got, you do the, I, I'll probably do the same test you did. You do like the 100, 200, whatever it is, up to 500. Yeah, and I can get some results. Okay. And then I'll probably do the same with study state. That's the one I'm really, really interested in seeing. That's just the burst with the study state one is, I'm really curious mm -hmm. to see how, like, how it handles. Um, and yeah. Uh, yeah. I have also implementation for steady state for Uber. Um, I didn't submit a PR there because I'm waiting some other preferred PRs to, you know, get merged. But uh, it's it's a little bit different implementation, so it might be also be interesting. You know. Sure. Yeah, we can look at. It. Yeah. Sounds good. Okay. Cool. All right. I'll take a look at that and make sure that's compatible. Okay. Cool. Okay. Um. All right. I think that's that is all. Do you have any? Do you guys have anything else that you want to cover for today? Do you want to review kind of, I think that the summit, I thought summit went pretty well. Um, I thought we had some pretty good representation and it seemed like there was some good interest in uh, mm -hmm. this group, which is great. So yeah. Yeah, I think it was nice to summit. Yeah, it was and, good. You know, bring you some attention about our work also. It was good, yeah. Yeah, we've made a lot of progress. So let's keep up the good work and I think I think really getting defining those SLOs and it's going to be really good and get us more attention. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I definitely let, let's try to get merged. So, and then, you know, I think we'll be good. Then we can like try to publish some, um, you know, to track more this work there. We, yeah, we also, also have the jobs, you know, that it's running. It might be also interesting to you know to check what's happened there as you were doing with the previous jobs um sure where how do i get to them it's the kubevirt periodics the same you know dashboard that you were using oh it's just one of these yeah and this then one? yes exactly okay this is the dedicated dedicated cluster right yes okay and awesome. does this um is it fail? Does this set it pass, but uh I don't know. Uh, uh, yeah, I I I I had this problem before. Some sometimes Kubevirt was not being deleted. Okay, it it's it's run. Oh yeah. 1200. So what did you create a thousand? Or so? Oh, because maybe this is the scale test that it's ranging. It's creating 200 and then 300 and then 400. Okay. Oh, look at this. Okay, so you had some good data here. So this is a uh, little this is over overall, two minutes yeah. at P50 and then uh, five minutes at the P95. Okay. Okay. Really cool. Uh, this is that's interesting. And then you also have the other job that it's only creating one hundred. So if you go back to the dashboard, which one is only creating one hundred? Yeah. So we have like the other and the right, the bottle. No, this the upper line in the end. Oh, this one. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we can we can see that it's failing to delete the kub, you know kubvert. Um, I need to I need to work on that. Why it's failing? The job is running, you see, but it's yeah. the end to clean the cluster. It's failing, so yeah, you check that. This one has a good gets notes, get notes count, or the CI yeah. doesn't, which is not yeah, awesome. it's weird, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, these numbers are pretty good. That scale, those scales numbers were really interesting. That's so. This is this is it's a thousand VMs, is that right? It's, no, this is only 100. 
No, I went. I went back to the scale one, the one that this looks like. Oh it yes, it's 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 run three kind of you know three 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 tests. It's oh, create okay. like a one hundred and two hundred or two hundred, and then three hundred and then four hundred and the total, you know, it will be nine hundred. So, okay. So it doesn't create everything in a shot. So it's not that. Mm -hmm. It's not one thousand. You know. It's well, it's nine hundred in the total, but it's not the same time. That that's why I'm saying. But yeah. you, um, it also has like a, a, a dashboard. So then we can we can we can talk that later. About it. Okay. So the but this is the um if this is running this is running what it's running the load generator like the like the changes that I made to the load generator it's or before I made it it's running that yeah okay so this when I okay so when I make those changes to the load generator I could this is what they'll be reflected here on this job you will well okay you, you need to update the job but yes yeah okay cool then I can maybe this is where I could go if I want to do the steady state as well okay. Yeah. So when you create the job, just you know, keep in mind that we cannot run jobs in parallel, you yep. know, in the cluster. And in the, for example, if it's include the steady state, you need to check, you know, check the pro, you know, in the Chrome table and find that you know some interval like three hours interval between tests, something like that, so that you can run tests. We cannot have too much test because it needs to fit in 24 hours, but we can definitely run more tests per day, something like that. Or or even change, maybe we don't need to run daily tests, it can be every two days, something like that, you know. I don't know, but it depends on how the test that we want to run. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'll make the changes in, in here for whatever in here for the um for the so that it still works so it's compatible and then i mean I, I think the first what i'll do is i'm going to run this internally just the steady state because i i still think there's some improvements to make around this i think there's like a lot of nuances to this so mm -hmm. i'll see where how far i can go with it based on the testing before uh, we can have a job for it okay all right cool um yeah, that was pretty cool. Um, oh, how how often does this run, Marcelo? This uh, dedicated it's daily, uh, daily, once okay. A day, yeah. Okay. Cool. Good deal. All right, I think that's all I had. Um, does anyone have anything else before we finish? That's it. Yeah, I don't. I don't have also anything else. Okay. All right, guys. Thanks for joining. Talk to y'all later. Have a good day. See you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.